Welcome back to Moms. I'm going to show you how to make a buttonhole on the Singer Heavy Duty 4452 today. So let's get started. The first thing we have to do is take the old foot off. And on the back of your machine is a lever that will release the foot that's on it. You just lift it up and the lever falls and the, new, the old foot falls right off. So remove that. Now we need to prepare the buttonhole foot before we snap it on. And by that I mean we're going to, this automatically measures the length of your buttonhole. So this right here slides up and down. You have to be kind of careful. You don't want to break it, but it does just slide. So you're going to put your button, a sample of the button, you're going to slip it right in here and then tighten that down. Okay? So that's where you want your button. Now, this metal bar right here, that's what's going to fit in there. You just lower, put it in place, and drop your presser foot, and it will automatically attach. Okay? And your button is here in the back. First is the pattern selector. That's this right here. You're going to turn the dial until it is at the buttonhole. Next we want to set the stitch length and that's this dial right here. You want it to be somewhere in between the 1 and the 0. I usually just pick a midpoint. The difference is this. If you keep it, if you slide it more towards the zero, your stitches are getting denser. So this is going to be one that is almost next to the zero. As you move it towards the one, your stitches are going to be further apart. So you get this kind of buttonhole. You're going to need to test these to be sure that you're getting the kind of buttonhole that you want. So I'm going to put it right in the middle. Alright, the next thing is the stitch length, I mean the stitch width, that was the length. This is the width. This is how wide each side of it is going to be from side to side. So you want to start off with this, with your stitch width, that's this one right here, on six. Now you can adjust it later if you decide you want a thinner buttonhole, but you can't get any thicker than this. And as you can see, these were both done on a 6, so this is just pretty much the regular buttonhole size, so this is where I start. Okay, um, make sure that your needle position, that's this one right here, is in the center. You have a left, you have a right, and you have a center, so put it in the center. And I usually go with my tension between 3 and 4, so start there, and we can adjust. All right, let's get a piece of fabric. Now I have a piece of fabric and I have marked off where I want my buttonhole to go. And I marked this one with a pen, but you can use a pencil or a disappearing ink pen, whatever. Usually your pattern is going to have a buttonhole on there that you can trace. The actual length of the buttonhole will be set by the button that you put in your foot. So that's what's going to determine that. Now, lift up. This is going to start sewing at the top, at the front part. Okay, so it's going to sew this first and then go backwards. So keep that in mind when you place this under your foot. And you're going to put it so that this, the front, what will be the front, this bar tack is underneath this hole right here. Okay, so now I have it in there, and I think you can see right through that little rectangular hole there, that's the bottom crossbar of my buttonhole. So we're already, just make sure it's in, you know, your fabric is in here straight because it's going to sew straight backwards. Now we need to engage the button part. There's a, a lever right back here that says push. 
So you want to push all the way down. Notice there's not but like a fingertips space between this and the bottom of the fabric. It kind of hangs up, or mine does anyway. At, when you push it down, it'll stop like right here. You got to push it down a little bit more. And then you're going to push it back. You can feel it. You can hear it click. You want it in the back position. This is what resets it every time to sew a new buttonhole. So once we get all that, we are ready to sew. So I'm going to hold my top thread out to the side just a little bit because I don't want it to get drawn back in there. I turn the hand wheel, put the needle in, and then I'm going to press down on the foot pedal easily. And it just sewed the cross tack. Now you can see it going backwards. The button is what's going to stop it. When it's big enough for the button I've picked. And now it's coming forward. And let it sew just a couple of stitches into the crossbar. And then you can pull it up. And that buttonhole is finished. So you'll lift this up. Pull your thread out cut it and you have a buttonhole. Now you can clip the threads right here. They're not going to come undone or now the first the starting thread you're going to have to clip it regardless. But the finishing thread, the one that you finished, if you want to, you can come back here on the back and lift up slightly. If you lift up slightly, it will lift a little loop up. And you can pull that loop through and tie a knot in this, and that will make a clean finish on the front of your buttonhole. Now, the only thing that remains is to cut it with a seam ripper. If you remember, your machine came with this handy little seam ripper. This is what you use to cut the buttonholes as well. So we are going to slice open the inside. Now the way I do this is start at one end and cut a little bit towards the middle. Now you're going to have to be very careful because you don't want to cut through any of the stitches and you don't want to slice your hand. So just go easy through here. Now I've cut halfway. So I'm going to turn around and go the other direction. And the reason I do this is because I have cut open so many buttonholes by trying to go all the way across. So I just start at each end. And then when you get in the center, you can just kind of poke your way through. Now, there is a perfectly sized buttonhole for the button that you put in the foot. Okay. Now, when you get ready to make another one, you have to take this lever and push it back again because at the end of each buttonhole, it's going to snap forward. So make sure it's all the way down and then flick it back. That will put you, that will make it ready to do a whole new buttonhole. You can realign and let your foot down and you're ready to go. And that is all there is to doing a buttonhole on the Singer Heavy Duty. So, y'all come back to Moms. We'll learn something else. Thanks for watching. Bye.